So boy army, welcome to another spicy video on the channel. The tactics update after a big weekend league, these boys hit a 30 now. Um didn't use Maradona, as you can see I still have the full line on him. I used Prime Eusebio there. Um right now I'm trying to sell this Eusebio at a profit. So if you want the best player I've used this year, here you go. He's on the market, 8.2 million right now. I bought him at 7 mil, which I thought was an absolute bargain. I wouldn't like to sell him, but I think his price is going to drop. So I'm trying to make some profit on him whilst I can. In this video, I'm going to show you the tactics that helped hit a 30-0 this weekend. I'm not going to go into depth on the gameplay on this one because I've done that quite a bit. It's not a massive tactic update. Yesterday's video showed you some gameplay from the weekend. You can always go back and watch that. It's pretty similar to recent tactics, but going into the Christmas holidays, I wanted to give you my latest tactic update talk you through the tactic in general um and like i say if you want to go see some specific gameplay of it you can see a full top 200 game that i put out last week it's a pretty similar one to that this is just going to explain the tweaks that i've made that helped me hit 30 you know this week if you like these type of videos where i give you my latest tactics uh squad reviews player new player content gameplay tutorials things that are helping you improve at the game and this is the channel for you please subscribe trying to grow as fast as we can trying to help more people get better at the game the positive support you guys have shown me in the last year has been amazing the channel's grown faster than ever i really do appreciate it so thank you for that um tomorrow's video is going to be the five best skill moves in fifa i'm going to show you how to do them where to do them and why they're so good so that's one you don't want to miss that's going to go live tomorrow before we get into the actual tactics, I'm going to quickly show you a few of the um, foot freeze cards that have been put out today. Quickly talk about them. I'm not going to do a separate video. I'm just going to quickly show you them in here. St. Maxim. So you can see the big update here is he's got quite a nice shooting and a physical update. So it's the same weak foot and skill moves. I would be putting a finisher on him. A Hawk would be nice to get him max pace. But even with the shooting update, St. Maxim's still not that clinical. But if you put a finisher on him, you get 95 finishing, 99 shot power, 99 agility and dribbling. That makes this card outrageous and he's got a lot of strength. He will be one of the very best attackers in the game right now because he's already insane on the ball with his 5A, the balance, agility, like that strength. He's going to be absolutely insane. You might look and think Zell would rather put a dead eye on just to get that passing up. But the passing, whilst it's not great... It is definitely usable, and the finisher gets that finishing very close to 99. Max is out of his dribbling. He is going to be glitchy. He's going to be insane, man. So I'm looking forward to trying him out at some point. I'm going to wait until he's a bit cheaper, though. But great card. Um, we'll look at Usman Dembele, who just got released. This guy looks insane as well. I, again, would be going to finish on him. Some people are going to use a dead eye. To get that passing up. If you're playing him at Cam, you might want to go at Dead Eye. But for me, I would still want a finisher. His pace is good enough. It near maxes his finishing, gets it to 97. Maxes that agility and dribbling. Um, he's not quite as physically gifted as Saint Maxim, but he has the five star weak foot. So it's probably a better card overall. Um, these two cards are absolutely insane. France team just got a lot better. Um, yeah, so those cards are insane. Um, the Awa that came out looks pretty insane, I, especially for an SBC. He's like 100 to 150k. This card's quite comparable to Jao Felix, except for the lack of five-star skills. He's good physically. You could even play him as the creator role in the CDM that I'll talk about in this tactic. Um, I mean, this card's very good, to be honest. Surprised me how good it is for how cheap they've made it. Um, can dribble, his passing's very, very good near elite. With a Hunter, you're getting near 99 pace, 99 finishing. Like, it's an amazing card. The last one I'm going to show you, I'm not going to show you like the Chiellini, Moreno. Those cards, the other ones that have come out in packs, they are pretty good. But this one's a free objective. Um, with a Shadow one, you're getting a pretty good CDM here. More so the Destroyer, but this card's fairly comparable to Valverde's um, in form, to be honest. About as quick. Better physically, same weak foot skills, very good defending, okay on the ball, decent passing. Like You're getting a pretty good card here. Yeah, he doesn't have insane links, but for a La Liga player on a free objective, 
I rate him and he'll definitely fit into a lot of teams. Okay, let's get into the tactic. So, the players you want in this game, good keeper, just any good keeper. Defence, centre-back you want pace, physicality. Full-back, pace, physicality and ability on the ball is useful. CDM, you want one who can play out-and-out -out defensive destroyer. For me, that's Renato Sanchez. If they can attack as well, that's a benefit, but that's not necessary. It just makes it a bit better. The other CDM for me is Hullet. Any like even a normal De Bruyne or Bruno Fernandes can do this role quite well. So you don't need to have the coins to get a Hullet. A playmaker, creator, someone who's going to be great going forward, um, can be very good at attacking, um, can defend a bit as well. So Hullet's obviously amazing for this all round, but can defend pretty quick to join the attack, can shoot. Four star weak foot minimum, I'd say. Uh, for the wingers in this, it's Mbappe and Figo. You want um someone who is pacey, decent physically, obviously can take the chances when they get it. Then up front, you need at least a four star weak foot. So that's why I had Gisebio and Neymar there. Pace, weak foot, ability on the ball, physicality is nice as well. Um, just someone who can put the ball in the back of the net. Those are the type of players you want. This is a full game plan with four tactics to it. So the tactic are starting is the 4-4-2 defensive. I've been toying with press on heavy touch and balanced. Last week, it, I was on balance for the tactic, and it does work. What I will say is if you struggle with getting beat by through balls and people getting out of your press, then balanced might be the better version for you. Balanced and free depth. But for me, especially if you've got a good team, press on heavy touch with at least four depth. Sometimes I might adjust to five i don't know i like four four though it felt very good defensively if you've got a very good team and you can press good the press and every touch just does offer a bit more but if you're using a worse team especially that get tired more easily they don't have as good stamina then balance free depth might be the one for you so you can toy with them but that was the main update i used this weekend i just found worked very very good allowed me to really dominate my opponents the offensive style hasn't changed all it's the 4-4-2 defensive. The reason that I use this formation is that I love the two strikers. The two wingers get back and defend, but they also um, offer a lot going forward, to be honest. The two CDMs are better than centre mids for me, like the normal 4-4-2, because when I'm defending, they just sit that little bit deeper and act as a shield in front of the defence. Then obviously you have a flat back four. The main instructions for it, stay central, stay forward on the two strikers. Come back on defense, getting behind, getting to the box on the wingers. I've messed around with the CDM, swapping them. At first, I, I, maybe it was a placebo effect, but I don't think it makes too big a difference. Just put them where you want. Um, one, though, I have as the destroyer. He's cut passing lines, stay back, cover center. The other's balance, balance, cover center. That makes him just a bit more attacking the creator. Balance, um, stay back on all of the um, fullbacks. Now that interceptions are better, this is a tweak I've made. I've gone back to normal interceptions. Before I went to conservative because my players were just getting beat constantly on the through balls. Now interceptions are a little bit better in the recent patches. Normal interceptions is working nicely for me. So that's another tweak. If I, That's what I start in, by the way. Um, if I'm losing by a goal or I'm struggling to get the ball, I might go to this one. It is just slightly more aggressive. The press after possession loss just means you basically go team press every time you lose the ball. So it's a bit more aggressive. One more depth. The instructions are the exact same though. The instructions don't change. I've obviously swapped. Oh, no, that does change, sorry. Um, one CDM um, is already on this, but the other CDM goes to balance, balance. So you just get a bit more attacking. But the others are the exact same. I didn't put, bal I didn't put balanced um, crossing runs on to get into the box. Because you just don't need that as much in this. But if you are... Because this one, you're going into team press, winning the ball higher up. And you've got, um, what do you call it, two CDMs on balanced. You might not want your wingers both on getting to the box. If you're still struggling to make chances, then you could put getting to the box. But this one's a bit more attacking than the other 4-4-2 anyway. Tactics, like the tactics I give you, I'm try I've tried and tested them. I've used them on my road to glory where I've hit elite one. So it's not like it's only with a top team these can work. I'll tell you the different tweaks that I think can work. But the tactics, as much as I try and make them plug and play, in the sense of you can just copy them and they'll work for you. And lots of people have been thanking me for the tactics saying they've been getting the best results with them. You still might want to make a few tweaks based on your team or just your style of play. They're not, I'm not saying these are the best possible tactics, every instruction to a T for you. 
They're very good tactics that will work if you use them properly, but you might want to make a few adjustments. My ultra attacking one is constant pressure, 6 width, 10 depth, fast build up. Because normally I don't like fast build up, but when I win the ball, I'm winning it high up the pitch with 10 depth and team press. I want to get the ball and attack straight away. It's the 5 3 2. Just so I'm not out and out attack in the sense of I'm not just left with two defenders and get destroyed on the counter. The wing backs offer the um, width and then I've got five central attackers with the centre mids and the strikers. Um, stay central gain behind stay forward on the strikers. The outside centre mids as in the left and right ones are get forward, cover centre. Um, the middle one's on balance actually so he drops a little bit. The wing backs are on, stay, uh, on balanced and then the centre backs are on stay back. This part of the tactics is arguably the best one that I feel works the most for me to be honest my ultra defensive one so this is when i'm winning lay on trying to see a game out someone team pressing me which happens every game basically i go to the 4231 defensive one the second variation where you get a left mid and right mid instead of the lamb and ram i don't like the 4231 much on this game but to get out of the team press this one's amazing has lots of whip with a left mid and right mid has the two cdms you have a cam that can um link the striker to the cdms and it just works really well for me. The drop back one depth free width. I wouldn't recommend going on it all game. But when you're getting team press, it's just good. Because it means if you lose the ball or they're attacking you, that you have enough men behind the ball. You're not just going to concede straight away. You might think, why would I go long ball instead of possession if I'm trying to keep the ball? Well, long ball, what it does is basically makes your players make more runs, but not as aggressively as fast build up. And the best way to get out the press is not just to try play possession, but to get past the press. You have to break the press, and long ball runs in behind work for that. Got lots of width, um, so you cover the whole pitch. Uh, stay forward on the strike, so he offers a counter attack. Come back on defense on the cam. Come back on the two wingers. The CDMs are on stay back. Stay on edge of box on this uh, cam, just so I'm not leaving too many up. The left mid and right mid are on stay wide getting behind because I want them to offer an outlet against the press. So I want them to be getting in behind so I can knock the ball down the line to them Then obviously stay back on the defenders. The fullbacks in this are on conservative interceptions because the, I don't want them committing to interceptions. Or I just want them to stay in position because I've got enough men back. I don't need to win the ball back desperately. I just don't want them to get caught out. Boys, those are the tactics if you have any questions about them, please let me know. Like I've said, the tactics, there wasn't a major tweak to them. It wasn't something game changing. But when I'm giving you new tactics, when I'm trying new tactics, I'm always trying to perfect them and make them the best you can they can be for you and explain them in depth. And maybe some pe new people have seen them um, for the first time. I'm here to help you guys improve. I hope this video has been a good one for you. Please consider subscribing if you're new around here. Liking the video helps them do better. And tune in tomorrow. For the five best skill moves on FIFA right now. Appreciate you guys. Have a great evening.